Welcome back to This Week in Video Games, and uh, he is back for the weekend in Destiny 2. He comes bearing gifts or exotics in exchange for legendary shards. You can pick up exotics you don't have, including weapons and armor. If you're new around here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content, and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. Roughly 98% of viewers that watch This Week in Video Games aren't subscribed. So subscribe today and never miss a Zer update. Alright, let's check out and see where Zer is on the 22nd of July, 2022. As you can probably tell, I am up a tree and that means only one thing. Zer is on Nessus this week and he is on Watcher's Grave. And he is near Watcher's Grave, so just land here, head over to this point here, up that tree and there you will find Zer. Check out and see what Zer's got for us this week. Okay, for the weapon, we've got the Queen Breaker. A pretty good linear fusion rifle. I haven't seen that one sold by Zer for quite a while. On the Hunters, we've got the Knucklehead Radar. It's a classic from Destiny 1, this one. There's 61 roll overall. We've got plus 16 on resilience there, plus 15 on strength. Not a bad roll. Or the Titans, wow, 67 Armamentarium. There's a 26 resilience roll there. That is really, really good. So if you are a Titan, this one could be really, really good. Next up, we've got the Starfire Protocol. Again, excellent resilience, plus 25. 17 board discipline, 60, only 60 overall for the entire stats for the Starfire Protocol here, but that is still a pretty good roll. If you're looking for good resilience, and that is really, really important for all classes at the moment, this one could be really good for you Warlocks out there. Well, we've also got the Exotic Engram. You can pick it up and get a World Drop Exotic piece of armor or a weapon you haven't got yet. So if you're missing something from these lists, pick it up and see what you get. Great stuff in here. You've got the Arbalest. Excellent linear fusion rifle, great for nightfall content. Trinity Ghoul, excellent for ad clearing, really useful for raids. Black Talon, that's a good sword. And this is the one I was looking for, Two-Tailed Fox, excellent rocket launcher. But yeah, definitely go through this list. If you're a new player, well, Zur is a very invaluable source of exotic weapons and armor. Well, back to what Zer is selling for the week. Let's check out in a little bit more detail. So we've got the Queen Breaker. This one comes with the Intrinsic Trait Wire Rifle. So fires a long-range precision arc bolt that blinds enemies. Hit. We've got the Knucklehead Radar. Or the Hunters. Provides radar when you're aiming and enhances your radar resolution while you're crouched. That is a 61 roll overall, so 67 roll for the Titans. Armamentarium. This one comes with and another thing, so gain an additional grenade charge. Very useful for builds, that one. Especially grenade builds, obviously. Then with the Starfire Protocol, one of the most important pieces of exotic armor for the season. This one comes with Fusion Harness, so Fusion Grenades have additional charge and recharge from Empowered Weapon damage. Fusion Grenade kills Grunt Rift Energy, so really, really good that one. Might be worth picking up if you haven't got a good roll as Starfire Protocol. Well, next up, let's have a look at the weapons. Well, we've got a classic here, True Prophecy. There's a 120 hand cannon, kinetic one, Brave Robber and Demolitionist. I think I'll probably give that one a miss. We've got the Nature of the Beast. That's a 180 hand cannon. I think these have recently been reworked, so this is great for Crucible Snapshot Sights and Rangefinder. It's probably the best roll you could get on this hand cannon. We've got one hand cannon, two hand cannon, three hand cannon, the Volpa Cooler. This one comes with Tunnel Vision and Opening Shot. This one is a Stasis hand cannon. Another 180. I think they have just been buffed. That could be quite good indeed. Then we've got the Far Future, the 90 RPM Solar Sniper Rifle Auto Loading Holster. Demolish, not too bad for PvE. I think I'll give that one a miss. We've got the Sojourner's Tail, Rapid Hit and Surrounded. 
Might be quite good for PvE content, that one. Got the Falling Guillotine, Burst Guard, Tireless Blade, and Surrounded. Finally, Swarm of the Raven, Autolony Holster, Nisus. I think out of all of them this week, Nature of the Beast is probably the best. This one might be quite a good sniper for PvE content. Other than that, I think it's fairly slim pickings. Well, let's have a look at the armour. So we've got the Wild Hunt armour. This is from Season of the Hunt, the seasons ago. Let's look at the Wild Hunt hood. So looking at the stats, I'm on my Warlock here. 61 roll for the gloves, 60 roll for the chest piece, 62 for the helmet, and 64 for the boots. Finally, let's have a look at the random rolled exotic weapons. So with the Hawkmoon here, we have opening shot, improved accuracy and range on the opening shot of the attack. Not too bad, probably could be better. Dead Man's Tail. Yeah, fourth time's a charm, so rapidly landing precision hits will return two rounds to the magazine. Again, probably could be a little bit better. And that is your Zer update for the week. Well, that is it from Where is Zer on the 22nd of July 2022. And Zer's going to be hanging around Destiny 2 until recent on Tuesday, so if you want to pick up any of the exotics or the legendaries, go ahead and find him on Nessus and trade in those legendary shards. Well, as always, thank you so much for watching, and for more Destiny 2 content like this, like, subscribe, and share with a friend. Or you can check me out on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Thanks again, and I'll see you very, very soon.